Hey guys, it's Lexi and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, I am no longer in the Disney College program. I actually left back in June and I have taken quite a bit of time to sort of gather my thoughts and just reestablish my life back in Texas before I addressed why I left the program. And I do want to put out a disclaimer that this has nothing negative to do towards the Disney company. I absolutely adored working for them. I loved my location, Hollywood Studios. I loved my role in merch and the people I worked with. This is the Disney college program in itself. That's kind of what made me leave. So for starters, I could do like a 30 minute video talking about my roommate situation at Flamingo. I think one of the number one things that immediately kind of put a little negative just a little negativity into my experience but it's having to share my room with another person it seems like such a such a small thing to let ruin your experience and it didn't necessarily ruin it but for me it definitely put a huge damper on it i have a very low social battery i love being with friends and with people and i some most of the times i enjoyed going to work but after like a long nine hour shift coming home having a roommate always there inside your room so you're not alone you don't have any quiet time whether you need to scream cry or whatever my roommate was always there always and i did have a swap i had two roommates the first one um, that's one that i think i ended up being with the most before i left she was always there and she was quite a bit older than me so i couldn't really form a connection with her so it was kind of like having a stranger in your bedroom constantly and having that like privacy taken away from me was hard on my mental health on top of just being away from family and friends. I also had across my um, suite in the other room where two girls shared, one of those girls, I'm not gonna name any names obviously, but one of them just did not clean up after herself. And I'm not talking little things like a dish here and there. I mean like leaving the sink piled high, leaving moldy food on the counter and us having to throw it away for them leaving laundry just thrown on the couch for like weeks at a time, things like that. And I could rant about it for so long, but that's not the point of this video. And if I really feel the need to talk about it, I could address it in a separate video. But the roommate situation for me was not ideal. I didn't really bond with any of them except for one. And she was one of my sweet mates. I bonded with her, but she already kind of had an established friend group. So that was difficult. Flamingo, I think, have, making a new apartment complex, and yes, I know that DCP in the past had apartment complexes where you were sharing bedrooms, but you just think they would evolve over time, like realizing us adults want our own bedrooms and they made more of the, um, I don't know what you call it, like the dual bedrooms. That was just a little weird for me, not gonna lie. And it was one of the things that immediately had me think about leaving as time went on and I was just getting unhappier and unhappier. Another thing about my role, one of our locations that I worked at, so I worked at Rock and Roller Coaster and there's this little like gift cart that's outside. And when you work your shift inside, there'd be like a rotation where you would get outside for a few hours and sometimes they'd forget about you and you'd be out there for like three or four hours straight in like the 100 degree weather. And it, it was awful for me. I do not do well in the heat. Mind you, we could wear like short sleeve shirts and shorts, but even and being in that I was extremely hot and uncomfortable so that kind of puts me in a bad mood when I'm overheated I'm already just not feeling it so just constantly knowing I'm gonna come into work and I'm gonna sweat my butt off wasn't always the most exciting for me my favorite shift was Tower of Terror after a while because I was at Rock and Roller Coaster like 90% of the time and while I loved that location, Tower of Terror I learned um, was a lot cooler because you know, you're inside an air conditioned room and it was just cool in there. Like the hotel was not a hot location. So I ended up figuring out that that was my favorite location. But the hours, so you're essentially, you're a part-time paid internship employee, but you're getting 40 hour weeks, you can't request days off, and you find your schedule out at midnight, which stressed me out so much. There would be nights where I would stay with one of my friends until midnight and we'd all be together like doing a puzzle or whatever, waiting to see our schedules at midnight. And these were friends that I worked with. And we'd all see it and we'd like cry or get extremely stressed out if we have a shift on a day that maybe family was gonna come visit us because a big Disney rule is if you call out for a shift and you still go to the park that's like a great way to get termed it was hard in the program to like plan 
family or friends to visit you because you're honestly not guaranteed the time off that you request and if you plan these days and they don't approve it and no one picks up your shift that's another thing people picking up your shift good luck with that if the the person in charge wants to approve it i'm like forgetting all the terms right now some leaders just don't um like to approve a lot of time off for college programmers because people in the past would abuse that and then they wouldn't make a make enough money to cover their rent at flamingo and it was just like a whole thing so i get it but it was extremely stressful and my boyfriend visited me a couple times and leading up to him visit and like the midnight before the midnight before the schedule would come out for the week he was going to visit i would have like panic attacks i'd be so sick i felt like i was gonna get sick i knew that that was like a big sign that this is not good for me not good for my health my mental health and i think i started coming to the decision that i wanted to leave the program end of may so i'd only been there i officially like started working beginning of march even though my program started end of february so all of march all of april and then into may so about like three and a half months or so is when i was like yeah this I need to go and I made my mind up about like midway through May I actually had a funeral to attend back home in Texas in the teens of May I flew home to Texas they gave me bereavement leave which I was very grateful for I was worried I wasn't gonna get that and I was gonna be like I mean I'm leaving in a couple weeks anyway so if y'all aren't gonna give me this that's just ridiculous but they gave me the leave so I was able to go home to Texas attend the funeral for my great-grandmother fly back to Florida work a couple more weeks and I spent those next two weeks like really solidifying in my mind that I'm leaving and preparing to leave and I honestly spent a lot of times at the parks that's when I started making like my last few videos but also during this time like May was when I stopped making videos because I really just wanted to live in the moment it was honestly such a stressor to bring in this big camera like let me show you in my phone will that work okay you see this setup you see how big this camera is yeah I don't have a small sleek camera I don't know why I did that but bringing this to the parks and getting on rides and stuff was a hassle and it was stressful like having to whip it out every time I thought there was something scenic or beautiful near me it really took away from the whole experience and I was not living in the moment and that was a big thing for me so I started like putting the camera away and just going to the parks for one, not having to carry this thing around was, it made going to the park days so much more enjoyable because I knew I could just be there for me. I didn't have that extra weight on me and I didn't have to worry about recording every single little moment for YouTube. But addressing that as well, I still loved making videos and I like to look back on them. I have not been on YouTube though in a while because all the notifications, the comments, the questions, they kind of made me sad. I miss Disney. I don't miss the Disney college program but I miss Disney. And that's something I wanna be very clear about. Um, the program itself is what I did not enjoy. Disney is what I loved and I miss it every day. I'm trying to plan a vacation back there like around summertime with my boyfriend, but it's expensive and I don't get into the parks for free anymore. So I'm having to like really save up and bide my time. And I think I for sure would probably wanna bring my camera for that. Yeah, because it'll be really reminiscent of my past experiences there. I just, I miss it a lot and I've actually kind of been in like a depressive funk. You know how when you go to like a concert and it's amazing and then the next day whenever you're home from the concert, you're like depressed because you're no longer in that environment? That's really been hitting home, especially because right now, a year ago, is when I was like about to leave for Florida. I was like a day away from working for Disney. I, I remember feeling this adrenaline and excitement and I'm kind of sad to think that a year has passed. That's just like so far away from me now. I still talk to quite a few people that I did the program with and those friendships I made were absolutely incredible. Two of them, um, Michelle and Emma, those I have built a relationship with and we don't talk all the time but there's someone i know that if i ever need to like reach out to they're there and you y'all have seen michelle and emma in my videos so i still have relationships with them emma actually sent me a snapchat like just a few minutes ago so and actually my last park day was with those two girls if i had the opportunity to work for disney again I think I would do it. Honestly, I don't know for sure what I can say right now. Everyone misses the magic working for the company, but the lows were low. It was a really draining job. You're always on go, go, go. Your attitude and your demeanor just needs to be positive and welcoming because you're working for Disney. You're not working at Walmart. This is Disney World that people come in and expect to see like happy cast members. And I wanted to exude that, but it wasn't 
necessarily the easiest for me and already feeling like negative and not super happy being there just made it harder to pretend to be happy to be there um a part part of that too was i cried a lot because i missed my boyfriend and i missed some things about texas and honestly now that i'm here i don't miss texas if I could grab Alan and take him with me to Florida and just stay there, I would. I have a new job in Texas and it is the complete opposite of Disney. And it's kind of weird going from working in like a, the happiest place on earth to working in a pharmacy. Those are like two opposite ends of the spectrum. So I've been like, I don't know what I've been. My head's kind of been in like a tornado. To people that are looking into doing the Disney College program. You see a lot of the magic online. I watched a lot of YouTube videos before I went into the program. And those were what really excited me. Like I saw these magical park outings, getting dressed for work days. And that's what really encouraged me to go. That is part of it, yes, but that is not what can be summed up to the Disney College program. We are paid less than what regular cast members are paid. No, it's not a lot and it varies. You are paid less. Um, that's just part of it because it is a paid internship. And that didn't really bother me too much and we're, we're all aware of that because we're not reliable workforce. We're temporary essentially, so we don't get the benefit of like a full payment and all the other benefits that come with that. On top of that, like the park passes, you yourself could get in, but having people come with you, like regular cast members have, you have to like work up to building that. And that was like another stressor in trying to plan people visiting me and making sure I could get them the park passes that I had to work up to earn. Like, I'm not even gonna go down that trail. You can understand it was stressful. I will say I do miss it incredibly. I am very grateful for Hollywood Studios. I think I couldn't have been in a better location I still follow like quite a few coordinators there and just people that I met and I kind of like live vicariously through them because they still work there. Some of them ended up getting part-time positions and I'm so extremely happy for them. And I think if I'd had a better experience at Flamingo, I'd, I might have been able to stay. I think if I had my own bedroom, that might have been able to let me carry out the rest of my program. And I am kind of sad that I didn't make more videos of me in the park or just make more content, I guess you could say, but it wasn't good for my mental health. And I don't think I left abruptly. I don't know. I just didn't know how to address the situation and I'm still not entirely sure that I do. I just know that I'm in a place now where I can put something out there to kind of reflect on my experience. And also um, with the refurbishments going on at Rock and Roller Coaster, I hope they don't retheme it, but I'm glad I'm able to say that I worked there when it was Rock and Roller Coaster because when I was working there, there's a lot of talk about them retheming. I don't know if that's actually gonna happen. There were just so many wonderful benefits to the program, but there was a lot that drains on you. And that was just pretty evident in myself and people that I was friends with who would confide in me how they were feeling. So I really wanna go back. I'm trying to save up. It's just not, Disney is not cheap. And it's also not like this entirely stress-free experience to go to their, I mean, okay, it's not at all. If you've planned a Disney vacation, you know it's extremely, it reminds me of like a rubber ball you know planning a Disney vacation is not fun, is not easy, and yes, the magic is magical, but like the stress of it all can kind of like kill the whole experience. And I think that's what happened for me with the college program. The magic was magical, but the stress like really killed it for me. So I've taken a lot of time to just focus on myself, on my mental and physical health. I've been going to the gym still a lot. So to end on a positive note, my Disney college experience was something that I'm very grateful for and that I constantly relive in my mind and in my heart, but it's not something I want to repeat again. The college program experience. Disney itself, I miss in so incredibly much. I'm actually also recording this on a puzzle that my friend bought for me from Disney. I, I'm covered in Disney everywhere still. I wear my lounge fly basically every day. I have my pin sitting somewhere over here. I have a tattoo for it. I still absolutely love and adore the company, but my personal experience with the Disney College program, it was not as magical as I had hoped, but I'm still grateful that I did it. So that's all that I have to say for this video. I definitely needed this time away to just reflect and work on myself, and I'm 
grateful that I did, but I also feel like I needed to make this video here soon because I felt like I'm in a place where I can really sort of speak my mind without feeling guilty or ashamed. So I hope this video helps any of you if you're interested or entertains you. If you have any questions from here on out, I'll try and get back to them. I don't know what the future has in store for me. I definitely miss making videos and I feel like I'm in a place now where that's something that I could do more. I'll see you guys later. Bye.